Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to summarize the Shopify Unite 2021. Uh, it was like yesterday, so if you missed it, and it was one hour, uh, like more than one hour. So in this video, I'm going to summarize it, and then I'm going to talk about what Shopify has added and what are the new changes coming in Shopify. So it is all for developers, and if you're an app developer, if you're a team developer following my channel, you know I have content about app and team. So in this video, we will learn what is new in Shopify Unite 2021. So if I jump in the browser and I'm going to show you the summary of it and then I will explain what are those changes. So if you don't have time for that, I have commented something in the timeline. So they have, uh, first thing that they have introduced was uh, uh, Store 2.0. They call it like 2.0 because they have added a lot of cool feature in the Shopify front end. So one of the cool thing I like it, like when you're in the theme editor, you can search for the template and this is where section everywhere is going to happen. Now section everywhere um, was something that we all was like waiting for, but now it is here, but it is coming on the new store. So if you create any new development store with the preview mode, you will have access to this uh, setting. So that is an amazing feature. You can search for template create template they also have another content type uh, which is called content similar to wordpress if you are not familiar with wordpress in wordpress you can create your own content type for example you have post you have blog what if you have a post type called um, author and those authors will be like a content type so in shopify uh, 2.0 you have access to that content type which you can create your own content Let's say you have a team and you want to create a separate content for the team and then using section everywhere you can display it anywhere you want. That is one of the other, the cool feature. The other feature that I really like was the meta field. If you check out here, you can edit meta field in the product itself. You used to use an app. Go to the app and then the app API, the app UI was like different. Now you can edit this one directly in the product which is amazing, you can even upload images. Now it has all the sitting and the team sitting meta field. So if you wanna have access to that, make sure you create a new dev store with the preview mode. You will see all the sitting on there. Next up, let's check out, uh, if you check like more example of it, you can upload image to the meta field, which is an amazing feature like I think. And the other thing is like a store theme submission. It was close, like you could not submit your theme in uh, Shopify uh, theme um, store. Now they have they will open it in 15 of July. So if you can prepare your theme, which is in two weeks from now, uh, you can upload it in Shopify. And they also have a custom theme which is open source. You can use that one. It is not using any JavaScript at all. The reason is because they want to make it like uh i like the basic theme everyone can use and customize it you can add your own javascript of course but it is super light and fast without javascript that is one of the cool features so if you want to submit your theme uh, it is going to be open on 15th of july the other thing i really like was the checkout customization using apps now uh, you don't have to do it like all with uh, checkout customization in shopify plus so you can install app and those apps, which is called a checkout extension API, you can use that to insert code anywhere you want. We used to do this on Shopify Plus, like appending with JavaScript and jQuery. Now apps have access to that one, which is a cool feature. And the other one, which is a, another good change is like, if you are developing any app for Shopify, um, you know you will have a revenue. Previously you used to just, uh, pay out or get the money to your PayPal. Now they can directly transfer to your bank account. What is good about this one is I think recently PayPal introduced a new fee, which is I think, I'm not sure about the fee, but it is I think like 15% fee if you wanna pay out with PayPal, which was a lot of money, a lot of people complain. So now you can directly uh, pay out your money from Shopify to your bank account, which is an amazing thing for all developers. All of them are amazing, I'm just saying. Now the other one, which is much cooler. If you are making less than 1 million in Shopify store, 
selling apps or team they are not going to charge you any like share revenue so previously they used to uh, charge you 20% of it if you are selling a team for a hundred dollar you would like Shopify would get $20 out of it the rest of it will be your money and you have to pay extra tax for your government too but now if you are making less than a million they are not going to charge you anything that's cool like who, who else is going to make a million dollars from Shopify a lot of like newbies and startup developers making less than a million and that's really good for them and if it cross 1 million you're going to you're not going to pay like 20 percent you're going to be 15 percent which is uh five percent less than usual that's also a new thing you have to know and lastly the hydrogen ah it was an amazing one which i noticed toby himself was coding this and this is their website so basically it is another cell channel which uh, you can develop your store and then connect it how it works it is like you know Shopify team use liquid but in here you use react.js so it is this is so this built this hydrogen team is built with react and tailwind based on what they are working but you can use your own stack but it should be on react so they are using the react component and uh, like server component which is uh, compiling your component in the server and that way your store will be much much faster if you are using this now the good thing about this one is it is like a headless commerce so they already have a lot of pre-built component you can customize it for yourself you can start this channel and then after you completely build your website with hydrogen you can deploy it to your custom domain you can use netlify versal you can use uh, gatsby you can upload it anywhere you want and then it is going to work just fine one of the nicest feature i saw in this one was developing locally so you can develop your uh, all your store feature locally and it would run a server for you and all the changes would use like hot module reloading to watch for any changes that is amazing like how cool is that i have seen other headless websites which is like so difficult like contentful and some other like headless uh, solutions it is so difficult but this one is built into shopify and a lot of integration with Shopify will work just fine with this. Now it is not yet available, so they promise to introduce to make it available at the end of there. I'm not sure how much true is that because last year they said section everywhere will be uh, released soon, but they didn't until now. So I can't really uh, promise like I can. I mean Shopify cannot really promise like the exact time of this one but it is a cool feature if they introduce at the end of this year this is an amazing thing that i heard about shopify yes that was all the summary and there were some api changes also they said we have rebuilt the api and that's all in the shopify unite and i'm really excited about what is going to happen next because this for a developer there is nothing more exciting than adding a feature which help developer do the, the next great thing now Shopify did this this time for all developers and I'm really excited for the new changes. So new videos are coming about each of those changes in the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do because I'm going to create like custom team for Shopify soon on the channel and I'll show you how you can render them uh, on the Shopify server. So that's it. Yep. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next video.